I'm the one knocking. Hi guys, it's the real Shane. I'm back with another video, back with another banger, back with another story time. And you already know what it is when I come to my story time. You already know it's a lit situation. And we're going to get into this tea. Because y'all know y'all girl always going through some shit. So I'm here to tell y'all the story so y'all can know. Okay. And yes, I did two videos in one night. So I told y'all I got to get these videos out. Because you you just never know. Sometimes I am be feeling like doing videos. So I just go ahead and do two so I can knock them out. Post them. Okay. So... Disclaimer before I say this every time in my story times, I don't have no problem with nobody that I'm about to, well, if you, well, not probably not, y'all don't even know who the fuck I'm talking about for real, man. If you know me, you know me, or you know the situation, or you ever heard of the situation, you probably know what I'm talking about. But I don't have a problem with none of these people. I'm cool with all these people. You know, they ain't my friends and nothing, but we cool. Um, and yeah, don't think that I'm pressed about you because I'm not. I'm doing a story time on me. It just ha so happens you are part of that story time, you know. So make sure you subscribe, like, ring that bell for post notifications to be the first to know when I upload a video. Don't talk about my, don't talk about my nails because nothing to be done. Um, but yeah, um, we're gonna talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Um, but make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. Okay, this story time is going to be um, never date a hood nigga. Like, no gangster, like a nigga that's stupid. I'm stop. But never date no hood nigga. This going to be a story time. And honestly, this nigga was hood. But I won't say that. He was hood, hood. I put it like that because he was hood, but he wasn't hood, hood. But he was hood. And we're going to call him... We can call him Jalen, cause that's like nowhere near his name. I don't know why this came in my head like that name came in my head, cause that's like nowhere near his name. So we we gonna call him Jalen. Let me get comfortable. Oh, hi. Hold on. Okay, we gonna call him Jalen. And basically, um, I wrote down some notes because like like parts and like what happened because like this is like a long time ago, and I'm just really like it's not how can I put it? This not even like a uh, this is a story time like because I'm like why you shouldn't date a hood nigga because this is the shit i went through with a hood nigga and this is why i would never date a hood nigga again and i haven't since then um okay so basically i met him in 2015 um i met him because i was talking to his friend well let me not say that i was talking to this dude my best friend's cousin and uh then his homie the boy i'm talking about Jalen. He tried to get with me, and I was just like, no, like, I talked to your homeboy. Like, why would I talk to you? And he was just like, you know, that nigga can't do for you like I can do for you. And I'm just like, no, like, no. So I did like, no. And I told him about it. He just fucking laughed, like, the other dude I was fucking with. I'm just like, okay. I'm like, this is a setup. Mm -mm. But no. So, um, what happened? Because I really don't want to shit with it at home. But y'all love my story times. Um, what was I about to say? Okay, so yeah, fast forward to me and the dude I was fucking with, we ended up breaking up. So I didn't end up fucking with Jalen. Um, let me see. Okay, it's saying he was rapping. So one day I saw him in that basketball game. Okay, yeah, he was rap. Okay, so like we was talking, but I ain't never seen him in person. So like he was rapping, like he rapped, me, you know, he was doing music videos and stuff like that. So I seen him at the basketball game one day. And I was like, oh, he cute. But from his pictures, he's already cute to me. But in person, I was like, he cute. Um, and he did. A, he was doing a music video that night. So he was like, I'm going to hit you up at the, I do this music video or whatever. I don't know why. I feel like I got to read these notes because I, got, like, I don't know what the fuck going on. Like, I really mean, don't think it should be a story time. I don't know. So I was a freshman at the time. He would come on campus. He would come see me. And fun fact, he literally stayed by the school. Like, I can just walk to his house. But, yeah, he came on campus all the time to come see me. Like, he was he was chill. Like, it was everything. Like, he was, like, my first real boyfriend. So, you know, I was dumb and in love. I was skip class to go see him all the time. Like, I told you. I was just, I was, like, 16 when I was with him, if I'm not mistaken. 
No, damn. I was 14 when I was with him. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was 14. 14 and 15. Yeah, because I met my ex when I was 16. Or when I was 15. And I broke up with him. Well, we broke up around 2015. Yeah, so I was 14 when I met him. Yeah. And I think he, he a little older. He not that old, but he older. Okay, so we started getting serious. This is about 2015 is when I met him. Um, nobody didn't really know stuff so like, you know, his homeboys, my friends. Then like when I was younger, like everybody had a heart. Well, yeah, some people had heart slips. So like you post a heart, you'll know like that nigga know you talking about, that girl know you talking about, cause that's your heart. So my heart for him was blue. And I would post about him all the time cause the bitch was in love, like, I'm not going to cap to you. Like, I was in love with this nigga. Heads over heels. Probably would have did anything for him. September the 1st is, is when I first posted that picture together. Everybody, like, loved us together. Like, that shit went, I want to say viral, but it really could have been viral. Like, that's how everybody made it seem. Like, uh, I remember he came to school. He came to see me. And we took the picture on um, high school campus. And everybody liked us. Everybody's like, I'm about to say <laughs> I was saying your name, but um, yeah, like I ain't really had nobody come to me, no shit at first. Like I was saying, it's in love. I really don't remember. We was always off, like through 2016. Like we was off, was on, was off, was on. Like it was very toxic. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like he really broke my heart. Like he had me crying all the time. Like at first, I said at first in the beginning, everything was everything. I ain't gonna lie, once he got toxic, man, that shit got fucking toxic. Started getting real mean, cussing me out. But yeah, he started, okay, this one he started getting real mean, cussing me out, calling me out my name. Like, he go to social media, call me a bitch. Yes, y'all, like, the whole nine. And the bitch still went back to him. Like, is that dumb or what? Like, that's when he was getting real rude. I don't know, like... He would just start cussing me out, y'all, for no reason and shit like that. I just be like, damn, like... He was mean as fuck. Like, I was like, okay. And this one said, he would argue and get mad at the that we didn't. This is like when he was off and on, kind of. Like, he'd be like, our business, our business. But it's like, bitch, what the fuck is you doing? Like, why can't nobody be fucking with each other? Kind of find out, like, he fucked with bitches. Like, I had, I argued with a couple, mm, I argued with two bitches over him. I did. But it's like, they really didn't have nothing, like, to move me, like, any day, I know that nigga's mine. Like, I know that nigga's gonna always come back to me, which he did. Like, y'all was just probably somebody he was fucking with. Like, like I don't understand. Like, me and this nigga, I really, like, until to, until this day, I really never thought that we would stop fucking with each other. Like, I thought that I was gonna always fuck with him. Like, off and on, off. I know it's gonna be something. I know it's gonna be, like, we was together together. It's gonna be off and on. But I just always knew, like, we was gonna always fuck with each other. But that shit got, like, mm-mm. Like, I just couldn't do it no more. Like, I don't even know how the fuck I really left that relationship. Like, because I was in love with that nigga. Like, I don't know how the fuck, what said, to live, get the fuck on, and all your life, and meet this boy. We got back together 2016. We broke up 2015, sometimes 2015. But, like I said, we was always off and on. One night, I snuck out to go see him. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, at this age, well, y'all young ones, like 16. I want to, and I won't even say, well, yeah, 16. I won't say 17, 18, because you, like, you up there. But 16 and below, um, I can't even tell you. I'm not going to tell you I don't sneak out go see your man, because that's your man. Like, you're going to do things to your man. You might get in trouble. You might get your ass whipped by your mama. Just go see your man. I'm not about to tell you I don't go, because I'm going to go. I would have win. I still would have win if I was this, like, if I was that age. Like, you feel me? I'm not about to tell y'all that. But, you know, to each his own. Um, but I did one night, so um, once my mama stayed with my grandmother, and I was with my cousin, my female cousin, Yaja, and I said I was staying with my grandma, but I really wasn't, so I waited to get my ride, and I got a ride over there to his house, and I stayed next to him, and everything was everything at first, um, he was about to take my virginity that night, but like, not gonna count. It was too big. And like I said, I was young. I was I was 15. I was 15 at the time. Damn, I was young. Like, yeah, because I was just 
getting I was just when we broke up no cause I was still fucking with him in ninth grade yeah I was just a freshman I was just going to, I was just going to high school like when we was like fucking with each other still so yeah like I just think like I was 15 young like I had no business being with him or no nigga period but yeah he's about to say my virginity that night but it was like too big and like I was a virgin so it was hurting so I was like no and I was like he got mad but he didn't get mad Anyways, we ended up going to pick up his sister and go back to the house. Like, everything was good. But then he just, like, left. And I was, like, crying. I called my friends. We always, like, on a video call. Everybody was on the phone, like, saying, like, you know, like, why did he leave? Like, we, like, better come pick. Like, they, like, we better come pick you up. Da, da, da. Like, I was destroyed. Like, because I don't understand why he left. Like, I hope he didn't leave because I didn't let him fuck. Like, that's just some lame nigga shit that I think about it. But I was, like, so sad. And his mama just dropped me up home in the morning. And he just told me, like, I don't know. I forgot. I think he said it wasn't me. He was just in his moods or whatever. And I remember one time where um I was walking to his house from school when I was with his cousin or whatever. And I was, like, talking to somebody else. And it wasn't that serious. But I was talking to them. And I was like, I'm not. I had to tell him because I ended up finding like it was like his homeboy, like somebody like they in gangs with. And so I told him because like, I don't want no secrets. I'm the type of person like, I don't know. I just wanted to tell him. So I told her like, I was scared of telling him, but I told him I was sitting on his bed and he just said, get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm like, get out. So I just went. I don't think he mean like get out of the house because he didn't do nothing when I didn't get out of the house. I just went to the front room with the girl. And then he came in and when I was all cool. Like all up on me. I was like, you're not mad? He was like, no, because he was honest with me. Just that in the third. And I was really surprised. Well, um, oh yeah, so that morning when I got dropped back off, I got dropped back off. I went to my grandma's house. And like, you know how they said, like, if a nigga see virginity, pop your cherry. Um, I don't think he popped anything. Like, it was just like a little red dot. Like, when I say little red dot, like, a little red dot. Like, you can't even see the shit. So, that's why I said to this day, I don't think he took my virginity. Oh, yeah, I'm not talking about he took my virginity that night. But we fucked. I'm, I'm going to get to that part. But, um, I don't think he took my virginity that day. Like I said, like, I think because he was trying and pushing it. Maybe that's why. Because that shit was hurting. Like, OD. Yeah, but that night we broke up again. I don't even know why we broke up. <laughs> I don't know. The boots always breaking up, y'all. Um, damn. In June 2016, I would say I'm thinking my old girl, but I don't think that was her. Oh, you know what? I know exactly who this is about. Okay, so, um. In June 2016, we broke up and he started dating this other bitch. I'm going to call her. I'm not going to say bitch because she pretty and I'm cool with her. Well, we're not friends. We're not even cool, but I'm not going to problem with her. If I see her, I speak. I'm going to call her Shelly. So, he not dating Shelly. And she went to the same school I went to. So, he'll come on campus. But it's crazy because, like, we we didn't even really get into it. Like, you don't understand. Like, I was done over this nigga. Like, if, talk to, if like, he was another bitch, like, I got me fucked up. Like, because he's going to always fuck with me. And we always fuck with each other. Any bitch he was fucking with, if he was fucking with another bitch, like, no. And the thing about it, like, he only fucked with the bitch when we went together. So, listen, he never cheated on me. That I know of. I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but I don't think that he did. But, um, yeah, so, Shelly, like, she don't like posting status and stuff. She was being funny one day on the post, and I had to, like, really tell her about herself. Like, you can't beat me. Like, you can't beat me in real life. I'm like, that nigga really, like, playing, my nigga. Like, he won't come on campus. Like, they was together, but he'll come on campus to see me. Even if he came to see her, he made sure he seen me before he fucking left at the end of the day. And, like, it was not no secret. We was not on a little, like, well-known. Like, I'm letting y'all bitches know. He's mine. And I'm here to stay. I'm gonna stick beside him. And that's what I did. Okay. So, in 2017, I was still in high school. And... It was a rumor going around that he had something. Mind you, we didn't have sex. Beef. Yeah, we didn't. Actually, you know what? We did have sex because I was scared that he probably gave me something. 
but we was arguing about that on social media and he was like how the fuck you want to fuck with me but you claim i got something da -da -da. i'm just like nigga i'm not claiming anything that's what the street's saying i'm just asking a question but he had paperwork right now he didn't have nothing thank god this is when okay um one day fast forward to a night that my friend ended up having a party and i'm in there chilling like with my cousin just chilling and with my girls and he walk in dad what's the name again what we call him Jalen yeah so Jalen walk in with his homeboys and I'm just like ooh cause mom y'all I did a story time about this excuse me I did a story time this about uh, what the fuck I did a story time about this already um I had I was I was a little yeah, I was a little hoe I'm not gonna hold you I ain't fucking on these niggas but I was a hoe like I had niggas, like me and my friends had this thing called a bitty community. Like we had niggas racked up. But at the age we was, we weren't fucking. Like we weren't like these grown bitches. Like we was not fucking them. We was just chilling with them, going to see them. And that was that. And they wouldn't even know no shit either. Maybe because it was young niggas. But they weren't know no fucking having sex. Nothing like that. Um, so. Yeah, I had two niggas that I was fucking with. Um, I really had it under control. They didn't know about each other. And then I see him walking, I'm just like, why is he here? And like, cause we was, broken up, we was broken up at the time. I was like, why is he here? Like, I don't fuck with him. The last time we talked, we argued. Fast forward to that night, just know, like, we ended up having sex. He ended up getting in the bed, like, much talking to me, talking about we're gonna get back together. Is that the third? And we had sex that night. And honestly, I was drunk. So it wasn't even like, me and him never had. Mm -hmm. Did we? Well, yeah, me and me and him never really had like sex. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, cause when we did it, I was young and I was young at the time. I probably, I probably was 16 when this happened. Yeah, 16 probably. And y'all yeah, was 16, like, so it's like we never really had sex. Like, so I can be like, y'all, the sex was good. I mean, it was good, but like, I don't know. I just don't like really. I claim him as a body, my first body. But it's like, we really didn't. All the times that we had sex, like, it was just like, I don't know how to put it. But, yeah. And then that morning, we was just texting about how we gonna, like, get back together, work on this. Set the third, but it didn't work out. He was just, like, really at nonchalant. Oh, um, this one I found out about this new girl. Um, this is another new girl, and I'm gonna name her. <laughs> Who? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna name her redhead i was like i'm named her redhead so i found out about redhead and my friend sent me this picture like he made her the profile picture and they had pictures again i'm just like ew like this what you go to like he was really a downgrade like ew so um yeah okay i would see her go to his house and shit and i was just laugh because we were still fucking with each other like man but then we stopped because i'm not messing with nobody had a girl okay so like i think this is the part when yeah, he ended up going to jail or whatever. And um, we wasn't talking for real, but like, we didn't talk when he went to jail, but that was still my nigga. Like I told you, we still fuck with each other. Like, I was really dumb. Like, I would go hard for this nigga, like, for real. Like, so one day I was in summer school and she was in the same class as me. And I had him as my vlog screen. And she was like, You fuck with him? I'm like, Why? She like because you know he said he don't fuck with you, but I was like, and I was like, believe what you want to believe, but he gonna always fuck with me. And um, like we almost got into it, like girl, me and you was on a comparison. I don't even know what the fuck he's seeing you for real. But um, after that, I didn't fuck with him no more. Um, yeah, I think that's the part where I, I think that's when I stopped fuck fucking with him. Um, I lied because when he was in jail, um, I I wrote. Well, I did talk to him, and we was planning on getting back together, but he told me I ran my mouth. I don't know what the fuck I ran my mouth about. It's like, someone keep me in on love. I'm not a little bitch. Like, you already know, like, it's me and you, nigga. Like, everybody know about us. Like, everybody knew that we fuck with each other, and maybe they fuck with each other. Like, come on now. Okay, yeah, long story short, after that, we stopped fucking with each other. They got in a whole blown, full-blown relationship. Like, they were together. Actually, they ended up having a baby. Um, The baby's really cute. Um, I don't have no bad ill like i don't feel no way towards him like i actually seen him recently and you know you know i thought about doubling back but it's like 
I accept it. Like, he cool. It is what it is. I mean, I wouldn't mind fucking with him again, but I wouldn't fuck with him, like, as in, like, a relationship or, like, even take my subject because, like, that's, like, my first real heartbreak. Like, I did this nigga when I was 15. Like, no. Like, that's my first real boyfriend. Like, I wouldn't, like, take him serious. But we can, you know, fuck with each other. Fuck with you. Yeah, the last time we messed around was in July in 2017. Yeah, that's the last time we messed. I think we had sex that day, too. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But that's just, like, I don't think this is, like, a really, really good story time. Because I keep looking at my phone. Because I really, this is a long time ago. It might not seem like, this is 2021. That happened all 2017, 2016, 2015. Like, that's a long time ago. Like, I had, that's why I said, I had to write notes down. Y'all know I don't usually write down my story time. That shit is coming off the top of my head. So, I really still hope this video was interesting. Y'all fuck with this video. Make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. Um, Subscribe. Ring that bell for post notifications to be the first time I upload a video. Um, To so all my girls dealing with a hood nigga, I'm not going to tell you don't fuck with them, but don't fuck with them. Like, if you got you a good hood nigga, then hold on to him. But I don't know. Like I said, there's times where like he, don't, like, he got shot a couple times and he could have died. That's another reason why like, I said I wouldn't fuck with a hood nigga because... Like, now I be seeing that shit going on, like, girl, nigg, like, bitches, niggas be dying, like, to these streets, and, like, I don't know, I be devastated, sad, like, I lost my nigga to the street, that's what I said, like, I don't really, like, I don't, mm, motherfucker, no game, nigga, I don't even condone violence, so I'm not gonna fuck with it, but for me, if I got me a street, if I, like, if I do, like, come in between, like, a street nigga, it's like a nigga that sell weed, like, get money, like, he chill, he ain't no gang, he just sweet stuff, he low key, he fuck with his people, like, he fuck with certain people, you know? But I'm about to say, like, these gang bangers, these hood niggas, niggas, period, they ain't shit, like, I really came, like, I really came to the reality of life like niggas really not shit y'all like it's really fuck these niggas like you really gotta treat these niggas how they do you like do these niggas how they do you because some niggas can't take that shit i'm telling you nick going to run or he gonna stay like i have learned that shit like it's really fuck these niggas like for real like some niggas cool i fuck with you but most of these niggas be wasting time it's like why waste my time like i didn't ask you to come into my life i didn't ask you to fuck with me i didn't ask you to text me i didn't ask you to talk to me i didn't ask you to look at me stare at me hit me up nothing like it's like if you know you got a bitch you know you got a situation going on it's not even about a bitch like if you know you're not really going to talk to this girl and just like to be serious with her let her know up front that's why i respect niggas that just let me know something like niggas like if you want to just fuck say that if you want to just kick it say that if you want to be in a full-blown full-blown relationship say that like i hate niggas that don't say that like you just captain like no, I'm telling you what it is and what it ain't so I know how to fucking move. Because if you don't, then I'm just going to go with the flow. And the flow sometimes leads to bullshit. I'd rather know what's up up front, like, in the beginning so I know how to remove them. Like, hey, you might be fucking with just me, but how I'm looking at it, I might be fucking with you and another nigga. Because, you know, sometimes, like, you really do got to have a backup. Like, even you fucking with a nigga real hard. But me personally, when I fuck with a nigga real hard or I feel like I feel in this person, I do cut everybody off. And I ain't gonna lie, every time I have done that has been the worst decision ever because the nigga I'm fucking with cutting all niggas off for not being a bullshit situation. And let me tell y'all something, I'm always have a backup. I don't give a fuck. You got my in a relationship, like, y'all committed, like, yeah, that's my nigga, that's my girlfriend, like, we together, like, ain't nobody else but us. Other than that, if y'all just kicking it, talking, you always gotta have backup. Like any day, if you single, you single, you can talk to who you wanna talk to. If the other person you talking to, you know, if he apply more energy, more pressure than the other nigga, they go fuck with that nigga. But still keep that nigga around because you just never know. Like I learned that it is what it is because niggas do the same shit. You think they just fucking with one bitch? No, but I apply to niggas that's fucking with one bitch and keep that shit a hundred. Like, there's some good niggas out there, but, you know, I ain't found one yet. But when I do, I'll let y'all know. But, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and ring that bell for post notifications. And I'm out. I'm the one knocking.